All right, so in this video, I kind of want to discuss some problems that you may or may not have, but it's more so just kind of a warning when using get base aim rotation. Now, people use this function a lot, especially just because of it's replicated. So if you want to do things like replicate your spine, so as you look up and look down, actually, I'll just go ahead and show you what I mean, then that's oftentimes what you'll see people using. So as you can see here, I'm looking down and my spine is bending. And that's because I'm using get base aim rotation. It's replicated. So you don't really have to do any extra work for yourself. Now here comes the problem with it. So if you're using this very first person game and you have your camera attached to your mesh and you're wanting to, you know, use that to look up and down, well, you may have a problem later down the road or you may have just heard discover a problem that you don't really see or understand why. So what the issue is, right now I'm at the, the, just the default 120 FPS. As you can see, as I look up and look down, it looks pretty smooth. Uh, it is a tiny bit stuttery, but overall it's pretty smooth. If you're not looking for it, you really wouldn't be able to see it. And what I want you to focus on is the arm. So look at the arm. So looks fairly smooth, not too bad. Now let's say the frame rate drops to something like, I don't know, something still high. We'll go to 90 and let's look at it. You can see here, we're still at a high frame rate to where it should be smooth. But if you look at the arm, it's a good, it's fairly laggy and it makes the firearm lag around as well. Like it's very jittery. Now, if we bump that down to 60, something that should still be smooth and well, easily playable, as you can see, it's just tremendously worse. It, it's almost to the point where it feels like you're playing at a choppy 25 to 30 FPS and even worse. It's just laggy. Now, when you get down to something like 45, obviously, it's just, it's almost unplayable. So, if we switch over to using our control rotation, then that issue is resolved. So, that's actually kind of how I have the setup here. So, you can ignore it. I have most of the stuff duplicated. So, this block of code here runs on other clients. So, if you're looking at someone and they're looking up and down, this is the part of the code that is running for you for them. This part here is running for yourself. So what you would end up doing to resolve this, if I switch this over to get control rotation instead, while the other clients still use get base aim rotation, because remember, it is replicated, get control rotation is not. So if we use get control rotation for the other clients, they wouldn't be able to see you looking up and down. It's not replicated, nothing would happen. But let's go ahead and switch it over. And for ourselves, we will use our get control rotation. Now let's look at it. So we're still at 45 FPS. As you can see, it's a little, it's just not super smooth, but if we start looking up and down, as you can see, it's smooth as butter. It's just like it's supposed to be. So everything moves just like it should. So when we go to 60 FPS, it feels like it should. So the arm's not doing that thing where it feels like it's lagging, you know, one or X frames behind. I don't know what's actually the cause there, but everything is like it's supposed to be and we go back to the default 120, it's like butter. There is absolutely zero jitter in the slightest. It's just nice and smooth. So that's just kind of a warning that I wanted to display in regards to get aim or get base aim rotation. Now for first person shooters, this would be a problem, like as what I just demoed. If you're using third person, you can more than likely have no problem getting away with it because most likely for a third person game, you're going to be doing what I'm doing for other clients as well, which is interpolating the result so that way it smooths itself out because you're going to be seeing the character visually. You're not in direct control, like as if you're, you know, sitting on the shoulders of the character, which is why I have this separate section to run for the players that are actually in control for first person. So this is instant. When you make that change, you want to flick up, down, left, right, wherever. You want that feeling to be instant. You don't want to have like the... uh I guess daisy kind of feel before they really worked on any movement where it just felt super clunky and it just didn't feel good. So anyways, that's just kind of the uh, basics here of, well, what I wanted to warn you about when using get base aim rotation. It, this was something that actually I had been stuck on for a little while because I couldn't figure out why everything else was smooth. But when I looked up and down, it was just very jittery. Well, Get base same reputation was the culprit. So, anyways, 
If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. And if you're curious about this plugin right here that I just gave you that example on, you can find a link to that as well in the description. So I'll see you in the next video.